Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nitsa coming back with another Bulls Alpha tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to talk about tape. Why do pros love tape and some cheat code? outside of the box abstract ways that i love to use tape something to get your your mind open up a little bit and how tape can make your life a lot easier if you do have any more questions or any more comments for any different type of videos i want to see drop it down below i'm more than happy to get to it let's not waste no time let's jump right into the video and get to these gems with tape so i'm just gonna play it right away let's listen to the music Picked up the pistol and started clutching. Cousin said, Hold that bit like this and started busting. Eight years old, granny got me mad and started cussing. No battle, but I keep that fire on me like I'm a Russian. Last summer, live me and Benji drinking fucking lean. Shark didn't wanna fuck, so she came and fucked the fucking team. 35 when you're part of nigga, like it's all thin. How the fuck you would hit it, they catch you slipping. Got a shark in a beta suit, skinny dipping. Eyes so fat, bitch, titty water dripping. Mouth so big, dick lips, no kissing. Alligators on a little bitch, no fishing. So many niggas going wrong. So many bitches going so the very first thing that I wanted to um, show you guys is the kind of issue that I had. So originally when I was mixing this track, um, what happened was I was using a de to try to tame some of that harshness. So I realized that this kind of launched this whole video because I realized that tape is actually kind of a cheat code. So I was using a de but when I was using the de it was doing too much de specifically. There was a lot of energy in the kind of like the high mids of his vocal because he came up to the microphone. That's kind of the sound that we wanted. Usually I like, I love to coach the artist because words that come out of our mouth, different words have different amount of energies. Um, so that kind of plays into how you do like your compression and your DSing. That's some always to understand, you know, P, C, P, you know, some words like that that have burst of air literally have more energy to them. So when they, they're hitting the dial, they might make your compressor DSer over trigger and it can kind of make the vocal sound flat. So with this one, I didn't want to take away all of the harshness, which is what I always talk about because this song is tough, gritty. As an engineer, I'm understanding that, hey, it's a lot of bite, a lot of snap, envy me, cross him out the picture, you know, all of these things that he's saying and talking about his life and about the street life and everything is very important for me to keep that characteristic because that's the message so the qualities of the vocal also help project the message is very important to know so it helped me come to something like the fat so and the amazing thing about the fat so is it's one of the first things that actually helped us visualize tape compression specifically so with the fat so I actually turned off all of the compression and I used my fat so as a de -esser. so sometimes people are asking oh how can I make my vocal sound less harsh how can I make my vocals uh, have a, a little bit more smoothing characteristic you can use something like tape versus a, a DSer or sometimes even a multi-band compressor. Maybe you can go with the tape because it gives you um, something that's automatic. It's kind of like when you make a turkey tenderizer or like a chicken, you tenderize it. You're kind of smoothing uh, the, the the material that you have. That's what tape does. Let's pay attention to the end part where he starts saying a bunch of S's and how, you know, it, it starts to get a little bit harsh. And let's look at how I use the fat so um, to kind of control that. So many niggas going wrong. So many bitches going wrong. I put my feelings in these songs. I put my feelings in these songs. So you hear specifically those last two lines, I put my feelings in these songs, song, it kind of starts to, you know, build up and starts to get a little bit too aggressive. So with the um, tape specifically, you have to understand that tape has an instant way of uh, limiting the high frequencies. And that's what the Fatso does. So I believe the um, high frequency limiter um, starts at around somewhere of about 5K. Usually that's that's where it is. But I think it's a little bit better than a regular de -esser. And let's listen to um, why it makes it a little smoother. It's on a little bitch, no fishing. So many niggas. Going wrong. Going wrong. So many bitches going wrong. Going wrong. I put my feelings in these songs. I, I put my feelings in these songs. I was able to do less gain reduction on the highs, but it just sounded way more smoother, way more softer versus where the de uh, the way the de works, if you see right here, um, just the, the, the shape of the side chain, that band pass, I kind of just don't like how it works because it just kind of has an awkward way sometimes of uh, kind of smoothing off the highs versus the tape where it not only uses the um, you know tape compression, but also the saturation and it kind of has a soft clipping effect to it. So it's kind of like the difference between a lumberjack 
taking an axe and swinging it down on a, a big piece of lumber chop chop is what I felt like the DS was doing versus kind of like slowly ripping like a sheet of paper you know it was a lot more smoother a lot more light a lot more delicate with the vocal and I feel like that was a little bit better so the next way that I like to use um, uh, tape emulations is uh, something very different studio rack gives me the ability to open up a multi-band instance of whatever plugin I like to use and I actually did a multi-band tape so this is very important to understand with the studer the calibration of tape how hard you hit the tape is going to determine um, how much compression you're getting so specifically here what I did is I actually opened up the same tape on every single track which is the GP9 and I started playing around with the calibration the higher calibration that you get on the studer it gives you more compression so let's look at how I can sauce up a vocal like this using a multi-band tape something that I feel like is very outside the box but very overpowered so let's look at this I'm going to be switching up the calibration through the lows, the mid, and everything. Let's look at how we shape this vocal. Started busting. Eight years old, granny got me mad, I started cussing. No battle, but I keep that fire on me like I'm a Russian. Last summer, live, me and Benji drinking fucking lean. Shark didn't want to fuck, so she came and fucked the fucking team. 35 when you're part of nigga, like it's all thin. How the fuck you would hit it if they catch you slipping? Got a shark in a bathing suit, skinny dipping. Eyes so fat, bitch, titty water dripping. Mouth so big, dick lips, no kissing. Alligators on a little bitch, no fishing. So many niggas going wrong. So many bitches going wrong. I put my feelings in these songs. I put my feelings in these songs Since started busting Eight years old, granny got me mad, I started cussing No battle, but I keep that fire on me like I'm a Russian Last summer live, me and Benji drinking fucking lean Shark didn't wanna fuck, so she came and fucked the fucking team 35 when you're part of nigga, like it's all thin How the fuck you would hit her if they catch you slipping Got a shark in a bathing suit, skinny dipping Eyes so fat, bitch, titty water dripping Mouth so big, dick lips, no kissing Alligators on a little bitch, no fishing So many niggas going wrong So many bitches going wrong I put my feelings in these songs I put my feelings in these songs what I usually like to do is I like to um, usually keep it on the same exact tape formula and tape speed. I don't like to mix and match, uh, but usually in a situation like this, I found myself towards the lower parts of his vocals that I was using. Uh, I, I was backing off the calibration a little bit. I was hitting the plus six, which means I'm getting less tape compression. So it kind of let the body open up a little bit and sound a little bit more open. But when I was coming to, you know, kind of like the mid range and especially right here um, where that harshness is, I use more tape compression purposely, hit it with the nine calibration which is giving me some more of that smoothing characteristic so that's a great way you can use tape is in a multi-band fashion which is amazing no you know nobody ever thought of um you know that we'd be able to do things like this but studio rack and uh, you know uad spark gives us the opportunity to do that and you can use it with any type of tape um emulation my thing is that I just love the fact that the studer just has that one button calibration and even the input and output will play into it too. So uh, next thing is that I like to use tape in a sense where um, I can use it kind of like a compressor or a distorter, parallel distorter. So this right here on the Kramer Master Tape, this is kind of like your tape compression. This is the saturation part um, and usually like the wow and flutter and the noise, those are kind of like, just kind of like some of the, the way it breaks up, the way it decays, the noise, all of those texture type of saturation, color, tonal things that we get from tape. But this right here is the compression. So you can actually you get a little bit of distortion with this and i like to use this as a parallel distorter for my tape to give me some gritty uh and think about the lyrics the lyrics are telling me hey you gotta make this song a little bit tough a little bit mean gotta make it like a little schoolhouse bully they envy me uh, uh 18 when i got the pistol da, 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 da. you know that's what the song is calling for and that's what i'm listening every time the song calls me to do something i always pick up the phone so granny got me mad, I started cussing No battle, but I keep that fire on me like I'm a Russian Last summer live, me and Benji drinking fucking lean Shark didn't wanna fuck, so she came and fucked the fucking team 35 when you're part of nigga like it's all thin How the fuck you would hit it if they catch you slipping Got a shark in a bathing suit, skinny dipping Eyes so fat, bitch, titty water dripping Mouth so big, dick lips, no kissing Alligators on a little bitch, no fishing So many niggas going wrong So many bitches going wrong I put my feelings in these songs since started busting, eight years old, granny got me mad, I started cussing. No battle, but I keep that fire on me like I'm a Russian. Last summer, live, me and Benji drinking fucking lean. Shark didn't wanna fuck, so she came and fucked the fucking team. 35 when you're part of nigga, like it's all thin. How the fuck you would hit it if they catch you slipping? Got a shark in a bathing suit, skinny dipping. Eyes so fat, bitch, titty water dripping. Mouth so big, dick lips, no kissing. Alligators on a little bitch, no fishing. So many niggas going wrong. So many bitches going wrong. I 
and the Kramer tape is very bright so that's why I always try to tell you guys oh you know there's different ways of you know making a vocal sound brighter without you actually doing that so I'm using the tape kind of like a parallel distorter type of brightness type of thing but you hear it definitely adds a lot of grit uh, a little bit of bite but a very bite type of uh, um, a very bright type of bite so that's a great way to use tape another way I like to use tape is actually as a widening effect so J37 the preset is a vocal warm slap in the slap a delay is very important because it helps give some of that width so that's another way you can use it as a stereo imager you don't necessarily always have to use s1 s1 because the s1 stereo imager actually uses phase to make it wider and sometimes that can make your mix sound a little bit less dense in the middle i see people put the s1 on their whole mix bus but they don't even understand what they're doing if you literally read the manual you would know is using is literally phasing your mix to make it wider so that's not something you should be using uh, specifically for the mix bus but when it comes to the vocal yeah you could kind of get away with it sometimes but i much prefer something like a slap and i love to automate the slap to give a little bit of more effect so let's listen to how i would use the slap for to give a little bit more juice I'm a Russian. Last time I lied, me and Benji drinking fucking lean. Shorty wanna fuck, so she came and fucked the fucking team. 35 when you're part of nigga, like his all thing. How the fuck you a hitter if they catch you slipping? Got a shorty in a beta suit, skinny dipping. Ass so fat, bit to the. So kind of like those early reflections that are produced by the tape delay, it kind of just helps give it a little bit more bigger sense of space. It adds a new dimension to the vocal. And if I had the opportunity to automate it, um, you know, in this situation, just because of the time, I don't want to take too much time. But let me show you how if I was going to automate it, what type of like tape effect I would do. So tape is a great way to also create in some drama as well. Lips, no kissing. Alligators on a little bitch, no fishing. So many niggas going wrong. So many bitches going wrong. I put my feelings in these songs. A uh, tape is another great way so many great alternatives you can get the tape you know the tape can do compression for you so maybe you don't understand compression yet maybe you want to use something like the tape to help you get the compressed sound to make it easier for you maybe you don't understand attack and release maybe you can't hear compression so in order to not get over compression maybe you want to use a little bit more tape It'll hit the tape a little bit hard so the tape can smooth it out for you the tape can do the hard work for you the tape can add the brightness it can do all of those things so that's just the idea i'm trying to get across adds that human dimension so usually if i have a rapper who's rapping aggressive on the top i'm saying okay fam you already done gave us the energy give her a little bit of that swag at the bottom like, i always try to t have my artists like contrasting you know if they're gonna do a smooth a uh, lead vocal i'll tell them do some aggressive ad libs but if they do an aggressive lead vocal i'm gonna tell them do some smooth ad libs so I have the opportunity of, you know, mangling it, making it the way I want to make it. Because once it's up, it's stuck. You know, once they do the ad-libs, huh, 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 and the lead vocal is already, you know, aggressive and it's, it's already just aggressive, the whole thing, it's like, it's like no contrast. And on top of that, it's it's a situation where like once it's already like that, I can't undo it. You know, once it's up, it's stuck. You know, once I take the picture, it's already taken. So that's why I usually like to tell my artists to give me some contrasting takes or give me different types of ad libs. So pretty much that was my video on doing, you know, um, why pros love tape. I just wanted to open y'all head up a little bit. You know, the multi band showing you how you can use it as a DSer to help the message of the song come through. And that's pretty much that all I have for my video today. I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Appreciate y'all now. Peace.